like to make to you here is, you know what, leaders, we're in this time of parentheses. <laughs> Things aren't the way they were, nor will they go back. And we haven't quite figured out how it's going to be in the future. And so what do we do? How do we do it? There's this confusion about what works, what doesn't, what work, what's appropriate, what isn't. And that's how I'd like to approach it. Um, okay. This is uh, Letitia Baldridge, who just passed in October. She's the woman that started the industry of business etiquette. Letitia Baldridge was my mentor and the most delightful, um, down to earth woman. She was Jackie Onassis Kennedy, Kennedy Onassis's social secretary when Jackie was in the White House. She was an ambassador's daughter. She was Miss, you know, civility. And she wrote this book that started the industry called Complete Guide to Executive Manners. And I met her as I was finishing my book that just rode the train. My book came out after hers, Business Etiquette, Business Protocol, was now being talked about. And that's what launched my expertise in this subject. The one you'll get today is my new version of that book. So we shall miss her. One of the things that I'd like to point out, because you talked about it, Latarsha, is what isn't appropriate ever, and we all see it. Skip Walker gave me this quote on the back of that corporate <coughs> protocol book, and he's just saying again how important it is as leaders to understand it's about people. It's not about you. And so I say, don't wham people. What about me? What about me? Let me tell you about me. I'd like to tell you more about me. You just ask me, and I'll tell you about me. And I have all kinds of stories, and they're all about me. And I'm going to talk until you shut me up. How many of you know people like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I tell every audience this, hoping that if there's anybody in the audience that recognizes themselves, they will stop. It is so rude. And I have yet, frankly, to figure out a way to shut them up gracefully. And I'm not going to be rude. So what I do to answer your question, and be sure that I get all these answered, by the way, what I do is simply smile, quit giving them any body language or eye contact, and as soon as they take a breath, I say, it's so nice to talk with you, excuse me, and I move. Oh, that's about all you can do, isn't mm -hmm. it? If you guys have a, if you leaders have a better uh, way to do it, let me know. And this is just pointing out my little granddaughter that loves to have her picture taken, and one time she wanted to take mine, and I, she loves to go over and, and look at that little digital picture that comes up right away. And when I took, she took a picture of me, I acted like I couldn't wait to see. I ran over, and I leaned down, got her space, and I looked over, and she was frowning. <laughs> I said, well, honey, what's wrong? And she said, there's no me in it. <laughs> Great story. All right, let's talk about some business behaviors, and then I'll get questions from you if you have any. So when you are going to conferences, how many of you do? Okay. You are representing McKesson on the airplane. And so these men just got off the airplane. They're comfortable, but they look like leaders versus the flip-flops and what we see on the planes. It's amazing. And when you're at meetings, I'm going to pay you a compliment, and I mean this. You have been so present, every single one of you, so far this entire day. Do you know what that does for the speaker? It really is a nice to have. Have you ever given a presentation in front of a group and people are on the Blackberry? I don't see that here at all. That says you're leaving. It says it's not all about you. You can wait to get your messages. These people have their computers out, but they're taking notes that they're involved. 
so are these young people as first uh, employees at an organization I was at, real picture. And this is just saying pay attention to a speaker even if it's boring. They have spent some time uh, putting a presentation together. You know, sometimes professors are just not the best speakers. <laughs> but they did take time, right, those of you who are in school? All right. Being late, not. Being late, leaders don't do that. How to sit or how not to sit? <laughs> Shaking hands, which is, you don't have to give us a bone crusher, Justin. <laughs> Just one or two nice hands. Uh, Angie, you're right here. Do you mind being my, my person I'm going to meet? Now, first of all, let me say, if Angie were Justin up here as a man, men are often taught to wait for us to extend the hand. Yes. All right? A lot of the times they feel awkward. So I'm going to let the man know that it's okay. As professionals, we should both be willing to shake hands. So when I get, oh, maybe this far from her, I'm going to stick my hand out so that if she were a man, she would know that I'm going to shake hands, so be ready. So, but having said that, I'm still going to put my hand out at about this far. We're going to grasp hands fully, not like this miss, although we do that sometimes by mistake, mm -hmm. and just one or two sh firm women and shakes, and that's it. Are you ready? Yeah. And with a pleasant expression, that's why I ask people to have that all day. You ready? One, two, three. Hi, Angie. So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Perfect. Give her a hand. <laughs>